Hi everyone, this is Deborah, and I'm going to show you in this video how to create and handle a master document with sub documents in it. So right now on my screen I have just a plain blank word page, nothing special about it. And what I need to do first is make sure that I can get hold of the outlining view. Okay, the outlining view is found in the view tab, so I'm going to click view. And over here on the left are the different views of how I can look at this page. Right now it's in print layout view, which is always the best default way to look at your page. And here's the outlining view. And if I right click on it, it lets me add this button to the quick access toolbar, which is up here. And so that's going to be more convenient for me since I'm going to work with it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and there now is the outlining button up here so that whatever tab I'm looking at here you know on the ribbon I can always get to the outlining view here so I'm gonna go back to home and I'm gonna click outline view so you can see what that looks like okay so I'm looking at the same blank document but right now it's in outline view and I'm sure you know what an outline is you know we learned about that in elementary school you know, with Roman numerals and the whole nine yards. So that's pretty much all that it is. But outline view is necessary if you're going to create a master document with sub documents. So my outline view right now is looking at level one, which is what I want it to be. Okay, if I click this little down arrow, I can see a bunch of other levels. And every time I click a level, a different level it goes in and is indented more and more so I want to, the first level to be the most outside one the biggest one and I also want to show all my levels at any given time so I'm going to click all levels for show levels here and I also want to click show document because if you do that then you can see all the tools you need for the master document and right now the only thing you can do is either create a new subdocument or insert an existing subdocument. Well, I'm not ready to insert anything just yet. I'm going to put a title in here. So I'm going to call this Deborah's Master Document. Okay, and so that's level one. And I'm going to press enter once. And then I'm going to go to level two. And now I'm ready to insert an existing other Word document, a file that somebody sent to me that's supposed to be included in this big report that I'm building. Instead of clicking Create, I want to click Insert. So I'm going to click Insert. And then I'm going to navigate to the folder where my subdocuments exist. And I have two of them here. I can move that out a little bit. Uh, one was sent to me by one person, by Hector, and another subdocument, another rather doc regular Word file, was sent to me by Vivian, and they, they were both working on different parts of this big report. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in Hector's file. So I'm going to click Subdocument by Hector, and just click Open. And if you get a message like this, you know, saying something about the style exists in both the top document you're adding and the master, would you like to rename any of that? And when you see a message like this, you should probably click yes to all. So I'm going to click yes to all. And it instantly got inserted. Okay, this is a document created by Hector. There it is. And if I click on that first line, notice it's blue, it's a different color. It is set at level 2 because I had made it level 2 here before I inserted it. And if you look over here on the far left, this tiny little icon here indicates that this is a sub document. That's the icon for the sub document, for a sub document. And then the rest of this is, the rest of the text is black and slightly different and that's because it is body text okay body text is just plain text that was inserted and typed into the document okay it's whatever he typed and so I have a sub document now created by Hector and if I wanted to I could collapse my sub document and when I collapse it it turns into a hyperlink now when it is a hyperlink 
I can link, I can follow the link and open the document separately from the master document if I wanted to do that. So I could, uh, it says control click, so I press and hold down my control key and then left click on the link and boom, it opens up. So this, if I scroll down, you can see this is just a single document. Um, and the title up here indicates which document I'm looking at. This is a separate document. I'm no longer looking at the master document. This is layered on top of the master. In other words, it opened up, just happened to open up on top of the master document. So if I were to make this a smaller window, you can see behind it is the master document. So I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger. And so if I wanted to edit this document myself, I could do that here. Maybe I want to, you know, make this a different color font. So I'll make it, oh, I don't know, um, purple. So it's purple. And uh, I'll maybe even make it bold. Okay, so it's bold purple. And I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to close this window. Just close it. And I'm back at the master document now. And now if I were to expand this to look at the details, the, it was updated here too. This is a link directly into that separate document. So any changes made to that document by me or by Hector or by anybody else working on their own computer, and it's then they're linked into that document, they can make changes to it, and it will automatically show up here in the master document as long as the link exists. And it will exist until you unlink it or delete it. So that's one of the great things about a master document. You know, you could have sub documents by a dozen different people, a dozen different sub documents in here, and they could all be working on their documents. And as long as they're linked, when they update it, it all gets automatically updated in the master, the big, huge, long document made up by these separate little doc, uh, document files. So um, it can really save you a ton of time, you know, so you don't have to copy and paste or, or combine or compare or anything like that. Okay, I'm going to collapse the subdocuments and I'm going to add one more subdocument and I'm going to make sure it's at level 2. Okay, it's level 2. And I'm going to expand the documents. So now I'm below Hector's document and I want to bring in another separate Word document file that was made by somebody else. So I'm going to click insert again and I navigate to where that file is located, click on it, open it, click open, and there is the second, the next, sub-document. Uh, this one was created by somebody named Vivian. And so here is the second sub-document created by Vivian. Now if I wanted to, I could click here into the subtitle of what this document is and change the level to level 3 which would indent it a little bit more. So now if I uh, before I collapse the sub documents I need to save what I did so I click Save. Okay it's all saved and I'm going to collapse everything and so now I've got my master document with its title at the top and I have two sub documents. Okay and if I wanted to individually edit either one of these, I could control click to, f to follow it to its original form. And I can also close the outline view and take a look at what it looks like now. So I'm going to close outline view and this is what the document looks like right now. And I don't really want to show hyperlinks in my master document. So I'm going to go back to outline view I'm going to expand, well first show documents, always do that first, and then click expand sub documents. Now if I close the outline view, I've got my master document title and what it is on the first page. And if I scroll down, here is the first sub document. And if I keep scrolling, here is the second subdocument, and you'll notice that they each are on their own pages, each part. And if you click the show hide button, 
you can see the section breaks that the master document tools have put in for you. You don't have to do it yourself. It does it by itself. And so if I click here right after the T at the end of my last word, if I press enter, I can start typing stuff. Okay, press enter again, type some more. So I can put whatever I want on my own page and it'll just keep pushing it down further and further without pushing this down any further and that's because of the section breaks. Okay, so this doesn't get shoved down every time I type a line, which is a really nice feature. And the same thing goes here. If I wanted to add more text here, I could do it. And you will see, you might notice, sometimes this happens, um, an extra section break might have been created unintentionally. So I have two section breaks here, and I only really need one. I want it to be a next page section break because I want to be able to edit and add to Hector's file and I want Hector to be able to do that without pushing this into further pages. Okay, so I want a next page section break but not a continuous one. So what I'm going to do is delete the section break, press my flashing insertion point right here in front of it, press my delete key and it's gone. Now I just have this, the next page section break which I want to keep and there you go. So you don't have any extra section breaks that might mess around with the spacing on your document. Okay, so I'm going to click Save. All right, and then I'm going to go back to Outline View and I'm going to collapse my sub documents. And I want you to notice something else. Notice that when the sub documents are collapsed all of these tools here are not available. So if I want to create a new subdocument or insert an, another existing one, I have to expand my subdocuments. Now I have access to these links. Okay, so if I want to insert another subdocument, I could do that. Just place your mouse, uh, you know, your flashing insertion point where you want it to go and insert an another one. Uh, or and by the way, when you insert a, a new sub-document, it, it doesn't, it's not a special kind of Word document called a sub-document. It's just another Word file, a Word document file, and it becomes a sub-document once you bring it in here. And that's just a name for it, so you know what we're talking about. That's all it is, just a name. So now I can have as many sub-documents as I want, and each sub-document could be 100 pages long. Of course, this one is only a page to make it easy to see. But, you know, you can see how you can bring in tons of subdocuments, and each one could have 50 pages or 100 pages, and you could be creating an epic novel or um, a long report that has hundreds of pages in it. There's tons of different ways you can use master documents. So I'm going to close the outline view, which brings me back to page layout view. I'm going to turn off the show hide button and I'm going to scroll up to the top. So this is my title. If I want to make it a, if I want to center it, I can. And even if I center it, if I look at my outline view again, it doesn't, it's not centered in the outline view. It's just, it's where, it's showing where its level is located. So this is level one, so it's as far over to the left as it can be. And level two is indented one in debt, of course. If you have any questions, please let me know.